Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some fantastic Horns basketball plays that will allow your point guard to score more points. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I show individual basketball training, so go check that out as well. But anyways, today I'm going to show you some fantastic basketball plays that will help your point guard score with the Horns offense. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so here we are down on the clipboard. We have the Horns offense. Uh, that's big post players. These guys are your wings, and this is your point guard. This is the guy we want to have score the ball. So, in our first play, we're going to have player four just very simply setting a screen for player one who's going to use that screen, and player four is going to roll towards the rim. Now at the same time you can have some off ball movement happening as well with player 5 setting a screen and we may have player 3 open for a mid range shot. We could have player 4 open for a mid range shot so you can get an, your point guard an assist here, an assist here or even possibly an assist over here if there's any kind of help defense or he can just shoot the ball himself and get some nice points for him and his team. Now in our second play, what we are going to have is player 4 is setting a screen for player 2. Player 1 is going to pass player 2 the ball, and player 4 is going to roll towards the rim. Now we're not looking to get him a shot, however he is going to be acting like he's trying to get that ball. Now what's going to happen is player 1, he is going to go down and use player 5 and 4 as a screen and he's going to pop out to this wing. Anywhere in this area, if he's open, hit him up for a shot. And then once he gets past this screen, player 5 is going to roll off. He's going to set a screen for player 3. And now player 3 may be open as well as a backup. But basically we'll have player 1 open along the baseline or even at the 3 point line. And we may have player 3 open in the mid range or 3 point line area as well. You always want to try and have a backup option if possible. Now in our third Horns basketball play, what we are going to have is having player 5 setting a screen and player 3 both setting a screen. Now this could be ran on this side as well, that's always an option, but we're going to have 5 and 3 setting a screen. What's going to happen here, player 5 is going to roll towards the rim. We're going to have player 4 popping out of the key to bring his defender away. And then we're going to have player 3 popping out to the 3 point line. So then here we have two different options for player 1. We have an option for an assist for a layup. We have an option for player 1 for a 3 point shot. Uh, well, for an assist for a 3 point shot. And then he could also just take the 3 point shot himself as well. Now I'm not showing any defenses against these plays as you might have seen. The reason is most of these plays, when you're trying to do isolation type basketball, they generally really only work against a man-to-man -man defense. However, I will be showing you a 2-3 zone here and in our next play I will be showing you our, a 3-2 zone because obviously you're going to want to have plays against them as well. So most likely you're going to be seeing a tighter 2-3 zone against the Horns offense at least at first and you're going to be seeing probably a double team up top. If there's no double team up top you might see one kind of fall down towards their bigger player but that's it doesn't really matter at this point. Basically what we are going to be doing is having player 4 setting a screen on the wing player here and player 5 setting a curl screen what I call a curl screen basically he's curling around to set a screen on this side and basically what we are going to be doing is having player 2 and player 3 running baseline they could be open for lobs for layups or dunks or alley-oops but what we are our main option here is to have a three-point shot by player 1 in an open spot Against the 2-3 zone, generally your open spots are here. And now if you have a, a double screen on different players who kind of overlap in that section, you're definitely going to be having an open shot there. Now against a 3-2 zone, you will be in single coverage up top. You will probably have players 2 and 3 guarding the high post. And you're probably going to be seeing players 4 and 5 a little bit more wider 
uh, guarding those wings as possible options. Now, if they are too wide, player four or player five could just cut down the middle of the key. This could be a lob for a layup. Always tell your players to look out for that because that's always a possibility. However, what we are trying to do in these plays is get player one open for a three-point shot. And that's what we are going to do here. So how we're going to do this is we're going to have, I'm going to show you two different options on this play. So we're going to have player four pop out and this is going to be a pass by player one. And now we're going to have player five back screening on player, on player one red and player one blue is going to cut down the middle of the key. Now, number one option is having player one going in for the layup if these guys can't close fast enough. However, if they do close fast enough, this leaves these areas wide open. So they need to cut baseline or sit out in the three-point line calling for the ball one or the other. Let's just say we leave him out there and we have player two cutting towards the rim. This is an option for an assist here, an option for an assist here, an option for a shot or a floater, or if they don't close fast enough, a layup, a floater, a shot, or something by player one. Now the second option to this play is now player two can come in, set a screen for player four. Player one is going to continue. Let's say he wasn't open here. Let's say player five cut it off quickly and there was no lob to the weak side. We're going to have player one popping out to this three-point line. Player two is setting that screen. And now he should be open for that three-point shot. Now, I hope that those basketball plays help your team and your point guards score more points. If they do, let us know in the comments below how they work for you. And I will see you again tomorrow for another daily basketball video because I do post new videos every single day. Now, something to keep in mind in the link in the description below is my Patreon account. Uh, basically, the the donations, I guess you could say, uh, starts at $2. Basically, my goal is to create my, or, my own indoor basketball court and that is is how I am saving up to do so and by making my own basketball court I can make better videos for YouTube for you guys but also be able to train more players throughout all four seasons up here in Canada because our winters suck because they're like negative 20 Celsius and that's cold <laughs> anyways uh, I'll see you guys again next time which is tomorrow for another daily basketball video